Hey everyone, this is Roberto Blake and welcome to another Photoshop CC beauty retouching tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be using the work of John Covington. Feel free to check out his work at www.jcov.net. Let's go ahead and jump into today's beauty retouching tutorial. What we're going to be focusing on is doing everything we can to bring out the beauty in the subject's eyes and enhance it. So to start, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of dodging and burning. So create a new layer, use Shift F5 as we usually do to create a 50% gray layer. We're going to change that blend mode to overlay and we're going to start with the dodge tool and zoom in. Now what we're going to want to do here initially is bring out the whites in the subject's eyes. And then either by switching to the burn tool or using alt with the dodge tool, we want to switch to burn and we're going to want to highlight the areas and make these darker. And I'm just going to switch my exposure a little higher. And we're going to want to make the eyeliner, eyelashes, etc. a little darker as well as the eyebrows just to bring more attention to the eyes and make them the focal point of our image. So let's go ahead and do that as quickly as we can. Also, I prefer to also um, darken just a ring around the pupils to define them, and that will come in handy later when we're adjusting our colors. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and do the really interesting part. Let's go ahead and switch back to our brush tool. Hit um, shortcut Q to go into quick mask mode. Select a black brush and go ahead and paint the color of the irises with that brush. We're just going to do this really quickly and not worry about being too precise right now because we can always clean this up later. With shortcut Q selected, sorry, hit control I to invert your selection, then get out of quick mask mode. Go ahead and select a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Tick colorize, and then go ahead and shift your slider to whatever color you want, whatever saturation value you feel comfortable with, and you've got your changes there. The next thing we're going to do is back over here on our dodge and burn layer we're going to switch back to the burn tool and we're going to focus in on the pupils and just bring those back out by burning them again just do this as you feel you need and i feel like that looks good then with the dodge tool, you can go ahead and you can create additional catch lights or just areas that you want to light and look interesting and just create some more interesting things going on here in the eyes to draw attention to them. Just whatever you feel you need to do to make these eyes pop and stand out. Some people take this further than others. Um, you can do whatever you like to create the effect that you want or feel that you need. Personally, I feel that looks good. Now, if you want to take some of the red out of the eyes, you can go ahead and a trick that I learned is you can take the sponge tool with it set to desaturate. And if there are areas in the eyes that are um, bloodshot, you just go over that and it'll desaturate them and take the red out of them. And that can come in handy. And as you can see, that makes a huge difference from where we were. So now we've got really beautiful striking eyes. It's non-destructive. We can increase the saturation value and really make them pop. We can adjust the colors anywhere on the slider that we want. And we've made something that looks really cool here. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this beauty retouching tutorial on eyes. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. New Photoshop CC tutorial videos every Thursday. And again, thanks for watching.